Welcome to another video. In this video I'll show you how to use the new Soundbox Shortcut Manager uh, that's been provided in the latest version of Soundbox. So let's get started. To get to the new Shortcut Manager in the latest version of Windows 10 I found the easiest way is to click the Start button, scroll down the list either with your mouse wheel or with this bar until you get to Soundbox, click that and there you see the new Soundbox Shortcut Manager. If you don't have the latest version of Windows 10 or if you've got Windows 7, another way of getting to it is to either press the Start button on your keyboard or click the Start button with your mouse and type Soundbox and it comes up with its best match here but if it didn't appear here it would also appear here and you just click that to open it. So if we do that now it comes up with the user account control because it's making changes to your computer so you have to click yes and here we have it to get started with a new shortcut it's best to create a new one rather than change the existing one because at least then you know that will stay as default so you click the plus button creates a new shortcut you can see it appear immediately here you can rename it here and essentially in its basic form you just choose a different language so let's let's create Spanish for this one and you can also choose congregation now this relates to the congregations within Soundbox that you've already set up but if you hadn't set up any congregations you can click this button here and remove or add new congregations from within this program which is actually a bit more user friendly than doing it from within Soundbox itself so if I wanted to create a new um, shortcut, new congregation, can't type, I could here click add, and there we have Biddeford 3, but I'll delete that one. But we want Biddeford Spanish for this occasion, so click OK. And now you can see those three congregations are still there, and I can click Biddeford Spanish. And then let's call it something else that's soundbox shortcut let's call it soundbox Spanish and save and there you see a new shortcut soundbox Spanish and if that's all you need if all you need to do is change the language and the congregation that's it that's all you have to do but it does come with some more features if you click this advanced button now immediately the first thing you notice is you see these three colors on the language selection they relate to what is available in the languages that you choose. The major languages have got all three lit up, which means the program itself is translated into that language, the songs and the lyrics have been translated into that language, and the media is available in that language. But if you look in the list, you'll see there's lots of other languages where only one or two or, or three are available in that language. If you click this button here, show all languages, then you can choose all the languages that are available. But as you see, there's a lot of languages there where neither of the options is available as yet. If you'd like to help with any of these languages that aren't translated yet, please get in touch with us via the help desk and that would be very much appreciated. So we'll leave it at Spanish. That hasn't changed, but now you've got all these options underneath. Let's go through some of them. Media language, that's where you could have the program in one language, but the media in another language. That's quite handy for certain language groups where there are some in this country where they, they speak English, but they like to display the language in the language that group operates in. So if it's a small Chinese group in England, then most of them in the congregation or at least the brother on the sound desk is English so he wants the program to be in English but he wants the media to be in Chinese that's one instance where that would be helpful but you could probably think of others and these next few all relate to where the folders are so if you want the recordings to be in the different folders to what they are now this is much easier than it was before. You used to have to type this into the shortcut yourself, but now you can just click this button over here, depending on which option you want. Find the folder on your computer, 
click select folder and it'll appear in here saving you having to type anything much easier so that's all the folder ones see there's options for all the different folders recordings media calendar video websites images miscellaneous and songs the next two relate to the new countdown clock that's available in the latest version of Soundbox. The countdown clock assumes that your meeting starts on the half hour, so it assumes it starts at seven or half past seven or whatever. So if you've got background music playing and you have the countdown clock turned on and it comes up to five to seven, it'll assume that seven o'clock is the start of your meeting, it'll start the countdown clock. But a lot of congregations have their meetings at different times, say 10 past, quarter past, and this is where you type it in here. There's a congregation up the road from me who has their midweek meeting at 7.15 in the evening, so they would click in here and type it in 24-hour format, as it says here, so 7.15 becomes 19.15. And as you can see, this is what it does to the shortcut here, which you could type manually, but this program allows you to do it much easier. So that's those two. The next are all just handy options that you can turn on and off without having to type it all into the shortcut. So if you've made a few changes and it's all gone a bit wrong, you can reset the settings to default on the next run. If I click that, you see reset. If you do that, I have already mentioned this in a previous video, do that run Soundbox, close Soundbox, and then remove that option. That will reset the options and you can then go ahead and change the options again. If you keep that in the shortcut every time, then every time you open Soundbox, it'll revert, revert to default options and you have to set them all up each time. So remember to only do that once and then turn it off for the next time. Another what you what you could do is create a shortcut specifically for resetting the options and keep all the other shortcuts for normal use. So turn that off. This is where you can disable certain features of the program or certain pages of the program. So disabling options doesn't disable the options, it just disables the page so that the sound desk operator can't make changes. Let's scroll down a bit more. These bottom three are for troubleshooting. So you can disable the automatic song population if you find it gets it wrong, or if you want to manually put the songs in yourself, you can do that. The bottom two, you only really need to do if you're having trouble, and we've been told to do it via the help desk. So disable the graphics acceleration if you're having trouble with your display, or apply a touchscreen fix if you're having a problem with your touchscreen. But again, only do that if you've been asked to do that. So that's all the changes. When you're finished, click save, and that's it. You can create a new one here by clicking new and carrying on through a different languages, different language or whatever. If you want to make some changes to this one and create a new one like this one, but with some sort of simple changes to it, you can duplicate the shortcut and then make a couple changes and then save it. Save so you have to do them all again, but I will delete that one. And that's it. The only other feature in it is this button here, which allows you to test the shortcut whilst keeping this one open. I mean, it's the same as closing this, running the program, and then reopening this, but it saves you having to do that. So you can test the program by doing that. So let's do that now. And because I've set this to be Spanish, the program itself is in Spanish, and it wants to download the songs in Spanish now. So that's done. And I won't go and do that now, because that takes ages, but you can see how it works. So, thank you very much.